All right, let me climb up on this beast. So I spent two days getting most of the husky fur out of it, make it look a little bit more presentable. So we had our first tournament of the year over in the Tri-Cities, and uh, we went Friday, did a little pre-fishing, tried to find some new fish, caught a few, way down river, and of course, come game day, those fish would not go at all. And we found ourselves with one fish at, I believe it was 130, and it was about a one and a half pounder. So we pitched jigs all day, pulled cranks all day, lead and long line. Nothing was going. The fish were where we were fishing. We saw them, assuming they were walleye. Um, they were just, we had a, a week of very cold temps where we had a 40, 45 degree stretch and then it hit mid 20s to highs of 30s the week before the tournament. And it warmed up a couple days before the tournament, but it really didn't turn the fish on for most people. Um, of course, somebody always does well. And Matt Brown and Jordan Vinstock, uh, they won by just a few ounces, I believe, over the second place team, Jacob Woods and Marco Valdez. So those guys did great. There were a lot of big weights day one. Like I say, we were feeling pretty defeated um, with an hour and a half, two hours to go. Like I say, we were seeing fish, um, couldn't get them to go. Normally we can get them to go on jigs. Um, but uh, we had to change tactics and pulled crawlers. And in the last hour and a half, we caught seven fish. Um, we were pulling uh, <clears throat> max smile blades and slow death. We could only run, well, actually we could run four rods there um, where we were fishing. So I think we were only running three on Saturday. Sunday we ran four. Um, Sunday we had a great day. We had the second best bag. I think we had just under 28 pounds. And I think we caught 18, 20 fish. Pretty much all of them were 22, 23 inch slots. We had one, our biggest fish of the weekend was a 25 and a half inch. That was our only jig fish. And uh, the rest were perfect slot fish. We never found any big fish. Um, we moved up into sixth place overall to salvage the weekend. Um, and I'm running casking and I wanted to show off exactly what I was using. They have a few different versions. This is the Wide Eye Power Rig 7 foot 1. Even though it says Power Rig, I, 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 I like using this for jig wrapping or any type of shiver minnow. This is a Northland puppet minnow. A little bit extra length. This is a uh, medium light fast action. It's, uh, I'll, I'll try and list the actual numbers of it, but perfect for jig wraps, going vertical, casting shiver minnows. The other is a 6.8 power jig, and this is a medium fast action and uh, kids tackle, air jigs, caught our big fish. And I don't have a slow death, but that was, we were just running a plain hook slow death. And then a max, one, one smile blade. And that was actually the, that and the slow death caught a lot of fish. Um, it was a tough bite. We, we should have done that Saturday. Um, I'm sure there were some big fish where we were at because we caught plenty and I know a lot of guys struggled catching fish um, but once we went to the to the crawler we did a lot better but it was tough I mean it 38 degree water it's a tough bite those fish generally don't want to move too much um, until nighttime then it's pretty easy to pluck them off with cranks but we did as, as good as we could after having one little fish with two hours to go.
So good tournament. Um, congrats to the guys that did better than us because it was tough. Um, next tournament's in three weeks. That's over in Umatilla. Last year we won that tournament. Um, and that's, I believe, the toughest one because some of those guys up there um, are really dialed in. And it's a, we won the tournament last year with great slot fish and some decent overs. There were a few guys like Kimo Gabriel, who's won, and Jeremy Seifkin, who won many tournaments up there. They had, I, I don't remember exactly, but I think he said he had 12 overs and he couldn't find any unders. So it's a tournament where you got to have some luck getting the unders. And last year we did. And two of them were in the last 15 minutes. So that was cool. Um, and I just want to show the boat real quick. I'm pretty happy to have this boat. This was the first time where I didn't get passed by every single boat. This is a 2175 Lund Pro V. I'm running both Garmin and Humminbird, um, in my opinion. The Humminbird side imaging can't be beat, and everything else can't be beat with the Garmin. So I'm just running both. This boat is unbelievably steady, stable, fast, everything you could ever want. Got the live scope up front. I do not chase fish as much as some guys with patience, but vertical fishing with live scope is, is man, you get to see the fish's attitude, and it's... It really helps you decide on how you're going to go after the fish. So, like I say, the next one's coming up. Rufus, come here. Let's see if I can put him under some pressure because I am certainly not going to put any editing into this. So, uh, do not fail, Rufus. Good boy.